Hello, this is Teacher Marco from Phuket Pals, and uh, welcome again today um, to this GED Social Studies screencast. Um, today, I'd like to talk to you about another skill builder, test skill builder, and it's about it's on how to analyze historical paintings and photos. Now, you do have a lot we uh, on your GED uh, Social Studies test. There will be a lot of political cartoons, illustrations, visual materials that will be uh, presented to you and you will have to interpret them or somehow try to infer the meaning of these illustrations or visual materials. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, uh, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and also click on the bell icon and don't forget to share it because it helps us help more people like you now let's begin um this is just a very simple tutorial i have three steps um on how to successfully analyze and interpret historical paintings and photos now um, let's make use of the image here on the right part of the slide so Paintings and photographs can help you um, understand history. Okay, all right. Now, how do we analyze? Step one, observe and list. So if you are presented with an image, try to briefly study the painting or photo. Be sure to examine it carefully in order to discover the important details. Like, for example, um, what images can you see? Like, what is the date? All right, so try to find out the important details. All right, another one is to analyze the photo. Make a brief summary of the events taking place in the political cartoon. Um, and what makes it interesting? You must take note that political cartoons are designed to stand out and um, designed or drawn to make it look so interesting. So um, the events are highlighted, all right, so for people to understand it easily at first glance without, without you know using a lot of words or vocabularies uh, the image will try to speak on its own draw to conclusion so this is the third step so ask yourself this question how does this painting or photo help you understand the historical time period um, or subject area you are studying so um like is this relevant in present time try to uh ask that question all right so if we go back to the steps observe and list um what can you see here in the photo you you can see like an oil pump and just below the ground you can see the word here privacy and using the icon of Facebook uh, that resembles the Facebook icon serves like uh, the oil pump here. All right. So a pump is used, an oil pump is used to absorb or try to extract oil underground, right? So those are the things that you have to take note. Now analyze the photo. Why do you think that they use this? What made what made it interesting? It's interesting because um, you know um, the representation that they use it it makes it makes the image look so interesting. Now, what is it trying to imply, right? So a pump will usually, like what I mentioned a while back, will try to extract oil underground. But instead of oil, we have here the word privacy. So somehow we can infer that um, Facebook is trying 
to extract um, unsec or secured materials from the account owners all right so your privacy is at risk because if you are interesting Facebook with uh, your private uh, photos and uh, your private information it's a little bit dangerous and you can also try to um, analyze by thinking that oil is highly flammable and the, your privacy can you know um, can somehow introduce danger uh, if it will be leaked out to the public or if Facebook is handling your privacy All right, and also uh, that's the conclusion that we are trying to have or um, try to imply or being implied by this political cartoon now is it relevant in the time period yes when this political cartoon was um, published it was around uh, two or three years ago when investigations uh, was uh, done uh, by uh, the House of Representatives um, they were having uh, these investigations uh, about Facebook around two years ago so it's relevant now let's take a look at this example from the GED practice test right uh, hi okay this particular political cartoon just to give you a background was uh, published during the time of American Revolution all right the 13 colonies trying to revolt against um, uh, the British colonizers all right so if you take a look at the image it's like a snake being divided and what does these bunch of letters um, represent so NE New England NY New York NJ New Jersey now that's an obvious clue all right now what do you think does it imply or what is it the image is primarily urging primarily urging people to what to fear uh, to have a rebellion to unite to ha have an aggression to, to have this loyalty now if you take if you try to analyze a snake is a very dangerous creature because it's venomous or some some species are constrictors so there they are very dangerous creatures and um, they are highly um, powerful all right but if you take a look at this and now the snake is sliced up so if they will work together the each piece of the snake here is a representation of the colonies during that time uh, if they unite together all right they are a very powerful creature they are very powerful and they they will be able to fight out the colonizers so it says here join or die so it's trying to imply unity among people so if you were able to um, answer letter C urging unity among people then you successfully analyzed a political cartoon all right so again go back to the three steps that I have provided you uh, when you are having trouble in analyzing a political cartoon or an illustration of propaganda material or, or uh, any illustration that is present on your GED social studies test so I hope that I was able to help you again today 
and please don't forget to subscribe and um, hit on the notification icon also please share this video again this is teacher marco and thank you for your time